is another Sim Sculpting Sundays, and today we are working on Pauline von Metternich, I believe is how you pronounce that. Um, she was a princess of Metternich Win Winberg zu Belstein. I, I don't know, pronouncing things is hard. But the reason why I wanted to create her, which is basically there is stories about a duel that she participated in with Countess Anastasia von Kielmanzeg. It was a sword duel that apparently they were fighting over a floral arrangement at the Vienna Musical and Theater Exposition. And yeah, they were alleged to have dueled after stripping to the waist to reduce the risk of the wounds being infected should they be injured. And yeah, it captured the imagination of artists. The Victorians were horrified, but most likely this never actually happened. It's just one of those things you see on the internet that people are like, oh, did you know there was a topless duel one time in 1892? Uh, the only real accounts that exist for it, there's no primary sources at all, but there's foreign newspapers that talked about it. And after, like, the first accounts were published, I guess the French newspaper printed a denial by the princess, and she's like, yeah, that is, direct quote, a ridiculous invention by Italian journalists. Nevertheless, it has inspired quite a few paintings, and she was an interesting lady, so I figured, why not? Um, I based this almost entirely by a picture by Franz Xavier Winterhalter that was, I believe, completed in 1860. I didn't end up having- I thought I had the hair, but I did not end up having the hair that matched it, but I'm still really happy with the sim that I ended up getting out of this sculpt. She's not perfect, but she's pretty dang close. And yeah, she was basically an Austrian socialite. She promoted a lot of different composers like Wagner and uh, Smetana? I, I'm not gonna try that first name because there's a weird little character above the R and I don't know what that means. <laughs> and she also was instrumental in kind of creating the uh, haute couture like industry, so high fashion, weird fashion, which I'm always here for. Uh, she was a, described as, I love this, a furious writer, so she was definitely a horse girl which we love, but I just love the furious writer, like, I love that. Love that description. It's fantastic. She did marry her uncle, which, yay royalty. And yeah, the, by marrying her uncle, that made her grandfather also her father-in-law, because yay. Her husband was kind of cheaty, but eh. Looks like they had a couple kids, uh, Sophie, Pascaline, which is great. I think Pascal Curious should have a kid named pa Pascaline, personally. Uh, apparently Pascaline married Count George, who was an insane alcoholic Czech aristocrat who was said to have murdered her in a delirium. Fascinating. She also had a daughter named Clementine, who was badly injured by a dog and decided never to get married. Um, and in terms of like being a socialite, apparently she accompanied her husband on missions to like the Royal Saxon Court in Dresden, to the French Court in Paris. She's definitely well traveled and, of course, very fashionable. She was a close confidant of Empress Eugenie, who was, of course, Napoleon's wife. And yeah, she was just she was very up and up on trends, especially like she was the it girl of fashion I'm looking at the wikipedia article for a lot of these but it essentially she was the first one to wear a new fashion and was secondly adopted by the empress and then accepted and copied by the rest of high society she really enjoyed music and art and she just was really a fascinating person like she taught a lot of people how to skate she she had ladies smoke cigars without fear of their reputation she just kind of made friends with a lot of different people. I'm trying to see what other tidbits here. She was really close to, 
to Wagner, though. Let's see. Do, 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 do. She had a lot of things dedicated to her, of course. Her private life, life was a little bit worse for wear. Um, as a child, she actually witnessed the Revolution of 1848. And then she stayed with Empress Eugenie in Paris during the Franco-Prussian War in 1870. And she also helped the Empress escape from Paris to Great Britain by sending her jewels to London in a diplomatic bag. She was really admired greatly by a lot of people, but she was, people were also kind of afraid of her because she was a bit of a gossip. But I think it was just more she was a very powerful, influential person and people didn't want to get on their bad side. Looks like she... Uh, I just completely lost my train of thought. Not even my train of thought, like I was reading and then I just, I scrolled on accident and meh. But yeah, like, she's an interesting lady. Uh, she was actually painted as well by French Impressionist Edgar Degas. Did a, you'll know him mostly from the ballerina pictures, so that's who mostly know him. And it was painted from a photograph. She wrote two different memoirs. Didn't have any sons, but who needs sons when you have that interesting of a life? And yet the thing that really strikes me about her is she just had like these big expressive eyes, really soft mouth, not really like the little indent in the middle. She really didn't have that. It was just very rounded, no longer face. And yeah, she was just, she was an interesting lady. She died at 85. Yeah, I, I guess that's all I really have to say. I just, I thought she was interesting. I, I remember seeing her portrait and then you know, hearing about the dueling thing and then going, yeah, I need to create this lady. I think she's interesting. I want to talk about her. I don't really like the portrait that was painted from her picture. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a little weird looking. It was painted around 1865. It's just very yellow and she's wearing an odd outfit. I don't really like the 1865 fashions though, like in the painting's defense. They're just a little bit weird. I like the more flowy, kind of romantic styles of the 1860s. She was also painted by Eugene Bowden, which I don't quite recognize that name, but it looks like he was a marine painter, but yeah, like she was just really the center of it all. And I love that. And I love the story of the duel, even if it isn't true, it's hilarious. And I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. So we're pretty much done now. This is me looking for the hair. I don't have it, so spoiler alert. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. If you have any requests, leave those down below, and I will see you in the next one.